Today, I will demonstrating how to communicate a C++ program with another process in the background. The target OS is Microsoft Windows. Create process command and pipe will be used to achieve this. The console window of the background process will be kept hidden. During my programming journey, I have felt the need to communicate with third-party applications like Fmpeg, Flay, Casper, etc. with my C++ program to extract or share information. To achieve this, the standard input and standard output of the process will be redirected to the calling program. Here, the run command will redirect its input and output handles to a pair of anonymous pipes. The process handle and pipe handles are returned in the process info struct. I have kept the demo program as simple as possible. Hence it is not optimized for production use. The user-defined structure sub-process info is used to return the pipe and process handles to the calling program. The run command redirected is the main function. The security attributes, startup info and process information are required to be set up properly. These parameters are required by the create pipe and create process functions. Child in R and child in W handles will be used to create pipe for the standard input. Child out R and child out W handles will be used to create pipe for the standard output. The function run command redirected, as well as the variable pipe number, has been declared as static to ensure that the pipe names are unique. The pipe names are constructed with this variable pipe number. Create named pipe or create process or create file properly, the handles are closed before exiting the program. To ensure that the handles are not inherited, parameters are passed to the set handle information accordingly. Startup info is crucial for properly executing the create process command. I am passing create no window flag to the create process to ensure that the target process starts without showing up. The process name is also sent to the create process function as parameter. I declared another function, called read, from, pipe, to read the target process output file, through the pipe. To remove the non-printable characters, from the variable chbuff, I convert it into string, and use erase and remove idiom, to remove these non-printable characters. For testing purpose, let's run the Casper CG server program from the run command. Casper CG, by the way, is a professional CG playout software. After opening the server, some delay is introduced to allow the server to complete loading. For the demo, play command is sent to the Casper server to start playing the video file HD1. To stop the server, character Q is sent with carriage return followed by newline character. Close all handles before exiting the program. 
Now let's build the project. The executable client.exe will be copied to the Casper folder for testing. See the client program runs the Casper CG command without opening the server. Only the video screen is visible. Demo test is success. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and like this video to encourage us to make more C++ programming videos in future. Please share your comments below. I have shared the link to this demo in the comment.